What's up everyone and welcome back. I am so excited today to show you our newly remodeled renter's kitchen and I'm putting that in their quotes because it was a paint job opening up these cabinets and styling it to my liking. So we are renting this apartment and I kind of just wanted to show you guys our story with this little makeover and how you can keep a renter's project under a budget and I'm really proud of what we did because it was all under 50 bucks and we just really made it our own and I know how frustrating it can be to have limitations with renting and trying to make this space how you feel it should be for you and I just love the way this turned out. Just to kind of give you a little backstory on what it looked like before I have a couple clips and the cabinetry was just this kind of like drab brown 70s look and we always wanted to do white. Even if we only stay for a couple more years, it's still worth it to me because of the really low amount of money that we spent on this project. I am really looking forward to showing you guys the ins and outs of the kitchen and let's hop into the tour. All right, so this is the view when you first walk in, and essentially this kitchen is just a square rectangle shape with a ton of counter space, which I'm very grateful for, and it's just so much better, as you saw from a couple before clips and photos, but overall I just wanted to give you guys a section-by-section -section tour. Starting off over here, we have the oven, and this is just a little spice area with just our most used spices and olive oil, balsamic vinegar, coconut oil, coffee stuff, of course. I have a French press every day, so that little area is my everything. <laughs> this tray is from Rose and Fitzgerald. It is so, so cute, and I just love it for the spices and the oils and stuff. And over here we have the little fruit basket, which is mostly always bananas, avocados, and lemons. Sometimes some peaches, depending on the season. And this basket is from Local and Lee House. And then over here we have the KitchenAid, which I wish I used more often, but it's mostly used for cookies, let's be real. And then on either side is just some red wine that I like to use for either cooking or just, you know, drinking myself. Over here we have some boards and for the most part they're just assorted. I have a maple and a walnut. Those two right here are from Andrew Pierce. I think this one's from Ikea and this is the one that we use for like cutting and stuff. And then the one in the front is from Anthropology, and it's just stunning. I love the brass inlay and just the little bits of color in there are gorgeous. So I love everything linked below by the way so you can have the appropriate resources at hand. <laughs> and then over here we just have a little vintage round vase that I've had forever and then some assorted utensils of the wooden variety. Then underneath is just a marble board and I have some measuring cups from Target here and a little plant that I propagated into some water in this little vase from Ikea and it's been growing like crazy so that's pretty cool. Over here I have some vintage goblets from a friend and I love the contrast over here with these colors and I just think that's like the prettiest blue green for next to some pink so we love those and then over here is the keurig which is great for when we have guests over it's just nice to have k-cups on hand for when there's more than one person staying with us and yeah it's great for hot water when i want some tea and we just have a couple clear mugs on the side over here over at the sink area, I just have my dish soap in a dispenser, and Mrs. Meyer's Honeysuckle is literally life and my summertime favorite. And then right here I just have some chamomile in this little vase, which by the way, this vase and this vase came in a two-pack at Ikea, and I think that they are just so adorable. So I love those right now, and then you just got your basic sink, nothing too fancy, and I do like that it comes up and over. I think that that's great. I've had other sinks in the past that were not so great, so this is very much appreciated. <laughs> so to the right of the sink is our fridge, and it's just a top-bottom white fridge, nothing too fancy. 
and these are a few photos that we've taken and collected and a little postcard of Oceanside back in the 60s. I think that's so cute. All right, moving up to the open shelving, which is my favorite part of the tour, personally. <laughs> So starting on the left, we have some stemless wine glasses from Anthropology, which I've had my eye on forever, and I finally got a couple. And then behind those, I have some little whiskey glasses. To the right are some more Anthropology glasses, and I mean, <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> They're just so special, and I got them on super, super sale, so I'm very excited about that. And then over here we have some more anthropology items. I love these mugs so much. I think that the white and the gold are really fun with the pink color. I will start over here on the right with this vintage drink dispenser. It's kind of like what you would think is a martini shaker, but you actually just stir it. There's an open hole in the top and then you just pour it out, which is stunning. I love that piece. And then these are all from Ikea, great value, gotta say. I think that these are so minimal and cute and I love the color in here. And then up here we just have some extra plates and bowls, appetizer plates, little pinch bowls for styling. Over here I have some bowls that match these guys. They're just sitting on top of some deeper plates, I think from Dollar Tree actually. And I think they're really cute for Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then this is a bowl and plate from Local and Lee House. These two glasses are vintage, and then the ones behind those are from Ikea, my favorite little whiskey glasses. And then these tall glasses are also from Ikea, and I just love how they're not very Ikea looking at all. I think that they're so adorable and vintage looking. And then above that we have just some extra bowls and wine glasses, more cocktail glasses, this brass pineapple I got for a photo shoot, and I think it's so fun up here. And then we have those little terracotta mugs, which are adorable. A little crystal vintage bowl up there, some more greenery, and another local and Lee House item up there in the right hand corner. And then this pistachio colored baking dish is from Ikea, and I just love the color, and it actually is a really great size, too, for like casseroles and stuff. And then over here we have some assorted plates, um, world market on top with the jade colored ones, and then I think Ikea for the rest. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the open shelving. I am very excited about it and I love switching stuff around and it's been really fun. All right, that is it for the tour and this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed working on this project and making it a reality. It was so much fun and I just can't wait to be in here more often in general doing maybe some cooking videos, maybe some baking videos, drinks. <laughs> so if you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye, bye. <laughs>